Hey everyone, welcome to the first video of the video series that I want to do on next generation sequencing data analysis. Um, in this video, I'm just going to quickly describe what we are planning to learn and uh, how uh, how we'll do it as well. So first off, this is the flow, the workflow of how you start to analyze your sequencing data. Once you get back, once you sequence, basically the very at the very top, you get back raw reads, which are usually formatted into fast Q formats. We'll talk about all of this in detail. The first thing that you should do is look into those fast Q files. And one of the things that you should look for is the quality of the base pairs. And once you know the quality, uh, you can do quality trimming, which will remove bad quality bases and sort of try to make your um, sequences more reliable when you analyze them later on. And the most important step afterwards is the alignment or the gene mapping that you do with these sequences. You have a reference genome. Let's say you have you have sequenced human um, PBMC, you know, blood samples, and you you targeted um, something very specific. You targeted uh, the gene for um, C uh, T cell receptors, which which is what we will mainly be talking about in in my videos. But you can apply everything you learn here onto many different fields. So let's say you do this, right? You sequence T cell receptors. And you now have to, once you have your sequences and they're in good, good quality, you have to align those to um, a reference genome. So you know what you have. Because a reference genome, it will say, this sequence represents this gene. And that's how you align. And gene mapping is something very similar. It's where you also put uh, you know, have a reference genome, and then you can see if you, for example, have mutations in, in your genes. It will align it as well, but then you can look into it and see, okay, this much of the of the actual sequence is correct, but then there's this one base pair which is uh, randomly mutated, just randomly not like in my reference genome. What could that be? And um, this is something also that's important. And further down, which is not displayed here, you can do a lot of different analysis once your sequence is aligned. And these are things that we'll cover in all of these short videos. And at um, nextgenerationsequencinghq.com, you will find a course where you can learn how to do bioinformatical pipeline scripting. So there you learn how to combine everything that you can learn in these small videos, how you can combine them all to write a program, basically, to write a, a script that will, autom that will automate all of these processes. So you will have a script that you can run on a folder with let's say a hundred um, files of uh, sequence raw sequence data and it will do all of this for you and even further down you can script it so that you will get it as an output you'll get finished graphs and uh, this will allow you to interpret your results and um, speed up your data analysis because data analysis of let's say a million reads from just two samples if you do this manually which is crazy and no one does it would take you maybe a month and, and it's also not really reliable because you can do m many mistakes if you do it manually but you if, if you have an automated script which is what you will learn in these videos then um, that's much more reliable data and it helps you to interpret and concentrate on the important things so i'm looking forward to um, reading your comments and uh, you know interacting as well go ahead and check out next generation sequencing hq.com for more videos and we'll get we will start right away with this top part when you finished your sequencing actually and you have your raw data which operating system you should use how to install that operating system and uh, we we take it from there